They have bones. They're squishy all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, that'd be real swell. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Meet me inside. Get out! These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, what's this? Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Have a good one. How long those snacks were in there? Did you find anything else in the chamber? Hmm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm, well I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. I hate to leave poor Philbo hanging, 
poor fella can hardly take care of himself. But, uh, Wambus is back in town. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to seeing him, but it's just easier to, uh, stay out here with the bones. Oh, my sweet dear. I guess the big love really misses me. Well, I miss him too, but I'm still mad. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. There any reason for me to stick around? Man, Triffy, I'm sorry. I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw? You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome home, Triffy. Let's hope the cactus What's that now? Nothing. Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Bronica Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Bramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. 
You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbeth wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Hey, how's the journey? Stranger, I won't mince words. Thanks for bringing Triffy home. Adios. Hey! Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old camp Fire. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. 
Lufty eats Grumpus. Ah! No way that's true! Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg! And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Ah! Don't mess with my head, Beth! You're gonna scare me snackless! Ah! Oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there, and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us! I said she's coming for us! Yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all! No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or Floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. 
Catch you later, bros. But but I do want you to stay. Oh darn it. Oh well. Let's get back and tell the others. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> um. Oh, and and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandlo was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. How's it going? Hello, Tiffany. Oh, hey, Han. Find the other Grumpuses. Till next time. Hey, Gramble. Hello. Hey, Wambus. Hey. Hey, you know, I've been calling you stranger, but you've been around a while. Get along now. Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandlo, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpernati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows where I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlo. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Move along, interloper. Whatever sort of spy or counter-agent you are, I'm not about to fall for your tricks. Move along, interlope. It's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funkbun. 
With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Nice, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but Snorpy made that grapple thing for me and I want to see it in action. <laughs> Got my balls back! That grapple thing is awesome! I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro! Check it out, there's a cinna snail right over there. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs, but it's actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey, see if you can catch me that cinna snail, bro! Yeah, I feel stronger already. 
Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. Nice, you made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog! <laughs>
about I can't wait to check my gains but before that I got a situation honeybees flew off with my backup balls now my balls are up in the sky no matter how shredded I get I can't fly believe me I've tried you gotta be my wings dog master that grabber catch me those honeybees <laughs> Did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. 